Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the third grade concept of multiplication and division, specifically how we can represent those two operations with strip diagrams, equations, and arrays, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a simple word problem here. We have Devante, he's making up some treat bags. He's got eight cousins, and each treat bag had six different pieces of candy. So how many pieces of candy did Devante use? Sometimes you're not simply asked to solve a problem with a fact because eight times six is a known fact. You might be asked how you can show that in different ways. So let's look at this three different ways. How would we draw this as an array? Well, we have six pieces of candy. So I'm just gonna draw six circles. And so that's gonna represent one of my cousins. So my next set of six is my second cousin. My third set of six is my fourth cousin. And so far I've got four cousins down because I've got one, two, three, four. Each row is a cousin and each column is a piece of candy. Remember how each cousin gets six pieces of candy. So this is called an array because it is a set of rows and columns that are equal. If you have a row that is missing something, or if you have a column that is missing something, that is not an array. That might just be a pictorial representation, but it's not an array. So we have eight down, and we've got six across. And if we wanted to, we can count every single one. But I think most of us know that if we have eight rows of six, that's gonna get us 48 pieces of candy. But sometimes, they're gonna ask us for an equation, so we would have to write just like what we did right here. Eight times six, so we've looked at an equation, we've looked at an array, what about a strip diagram? Strip diagrams look different based on what kind of operation we're using. In this case, we are using multiplication, and we know that we have eight cousins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a big long strip here, and I'm gonna cut it into eights. How I do that is I take my whole, cut it in half, cut each half in half, now I've got fourths. And then if I cut each fourth in half, I've got eights. So I've got eight different boxes here, and inside each of them would be six. So this is how you would represent this with a strip diagram. And then your whole up here probably, we just put a question mark. We know it's 48, but we might not know what it is at the very beginning. You could represent it like this. You've got eight groups, and each group has six. Let's look at another problem. So now we have a new problem with a restaurant. It normally has ten tables, and each table surrounded by six chairs. But then for a special event, they took out half of the tables and chairs to make a dance floor. So how can we represent the number of tables and chairs that we have now for this special event? Well, let's start with an array. So normally we're going to have uh, 10 tables. So I'm going to represent each table with a row and each row is going to have six chairs. So here is going to be my, uh, each row is going to be a table. I've got three tables so far. So table one, table two, table three, and I'm going to go all the way down to 10 tables. So I'm skip counting by sixes to see how many tables I have normally. We're going to start with that, then we're going to cut it in half to make room for the dance floor that the problem wants. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more tables. So we'll do that, and I'll add one up here on top. So now I've got an array that shows me how many tables I normally have, but then I need to take out half. Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box around this half right here, and I'm just going to draw lines through it. You can either draw lines through it, or you can just draw a big X if you want to, because that's half of it. That's dividing it by two. So what I did was I did 10 tables times six chairs each, but then I took out half. I divided it by two, and now that's going to get me, let's see, I've got six, 12, 18, 24, 30. I've got 30 chairs. So you can represent it with an array like this. You can make your array, cross it out, or you can write an equation to get your answer of 30 chairs. 